right now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. Aloha la pule. Happy Sunday to everybody. A beautiful shot of our moon, or in Hawaiian we say mahina. And with these land breezes that we've been having the past few nights, clears up the skies at nighttime to give us the good opportunity to moon and stargaze during the nighttime. Now, using this as our backdrop for the, the weather threat for tomorrow, we don't really have any threat other than the surf and the ocean conditions I've mentioned. We have those large surf for the north and the west shores, that high surf warning for all the islands other than Hawaii Island with a high surf advisory for that island. Now, looking at the rain in the past 24 hours, we didn't really see much rainfall added from yesterday. The only exception in the past 24 hours was Hawaii Island, Hilo Airport taking over an inch of rain. In the past six hours, though, we've seen just a slight uptick for Princeville and Hanalei on Kauai, along with Wailuaiki on Maui. You can see that area flaring up. Now, tomorrow, we may see a slight uptick yet again. More of a cover uh, uptick when we're talking about cloud coverage, though. But the air mass that we've had is still dry, so we won't especially see anything significant. The big weather maker that's going to bring that wet weather isn't going to happen until the second half of the week when we have yet another cold front come through. Now, this cold front we're looking at right now may bring some windward and Malka showers as that may get caught up with the trade winds as a new high pressure system will be moving north of the islands. And that may bring some of that associated moisture down for Tuesday and Wednesday or so. Nothing significant. The big significance is far in the west where we have that far cold front and that's what we're going to see possibly reaching Ni'ihau and Kauai, the west end of the state, Thursday night. And that's going to lead for the next few days into the weekend with that cold front bringing some stormy conditions, heavy downpours and possible thunderstorms lasting to Hawaii Island on Sunday. And hopefully that moves out of our islands by Sunday evening. Now checking out our He'enalu, our surf, we do have that high surf warning for both north and west shores of all the islands except of Hawaii, north 30 to 40 footers, west 20 to 30 footers, and then we have calmer conditions for the inexperienced ocean goers and for the whole family down in the south, one, two, three, east shores, two to four. Right now that's nice and calm, but when those trade winds are expected to return Monday night lasting through Wednesday, east shores will start to become choppy. Now speaking of wind, again, about Monday night into Tuesday, those trade winds will return but very short-lived as Wednesday night we'll have another round of Kona winds coming up from the south and that's going to lead into the next few days of again another cold front and wet time into the weekend. Gina?